So today we're going to do ellipses in planes. Uh, and so it's two pages of that, so that's probably where we'll stop. Just because that's easier to edit and I have to go to the grocery store later. So. I, I accept your cookie notice. That's where the video is going to start. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to do all the reading and then I'll click back over and do the exercise just like before. So, let me just wait for that car to go by. Any second now. Or not. Okay, I, I don't know. That's good enough. I'll just project a little more. <clears throat> Ellipses and planes. This one's really straightforward, though not as easy as it looks. Remember those planes you drew as part of the lines section of this lesson? Find those pages. Hopefully you didn't toss them out, burn them, or use them as nest materials for your pet bird because we're going to need them. So you've got your plane, or as the case probably would be a page full of them, but here we're going to focus on just the one. It's kind of an awkward shape to work with. This one's not too bad, but they can get, they can definitely get a bit crazy on account of being arbitrary quadrilaterals. Put an ellipse in there. That's all may look simple, but there are some pitfalls to watch out for. Don't worry about anything aside from getting the lips to be smooth and evenly shaped and having it touch all four edges of the plane as snugly as you can manage. Of course, draw through your ellipses, as mentioned in the table of ellipses exercise. Be sure to make use of the ghosting technique. This should of course be applied to every mark you put down, but it will especially help you here. Don't worry if you mess up, you'll have plenty of planes to practice with. raccoons in the way. Purpose of this exercise. This exercise is just the beginning of something much more complicated. In the future, we'll be tackling constructing cylinders inside of boxes and other similar challenges, and these will come with additional criteria that will need to be met. The purpose of this exercise, however, is just about maintaining the smooth, even shape above all else. That is your first priority. Second to that is, as mentioned above, fitting it snugly within the plane, touching all four edges. Given that these are generally awkward shapes to work with, I frequently have students who start deforming their ellipses, getting generally overwhelmed by the difficulty of the task. More than anything, it's an exercise in calming down. The difficulties faced here are generally more of one's own making. Take it easy and just try your best to drop a nice even ellipse in there. We're gonna, we're gonna make a mess. It's gonna be bad, guys. It's not gonna be good. Mistake. Deformed ellipse. This is a mistake I see frequently. See how the ellipse is bumpy and wobbly and it kind of reaches out to touch the edges rather than maintaining an evenness to its shape? Avoid this. As mentioned several times above, maintaining a smooth elliptical shape is critical and above all else is your first priority. Look at that gross ellipse. Okay, another mistake, floating ellipse. I also see this every now and then, though less frequently. While getting the ellipse to touch all four edges is your second priority, it is still something you should strive to do. It's pretty clear that with this example, no attempt was made to achieve that goal, and the ellipse, though evenly shaped, was just plopped in the middle rather unceremoniously. Here's what your page should look like once it's done. So, it's a lot of ellipses. And that's it. That was a short read. And that's just an ad. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and leave that there. And then click. Okay, cool. Move my sticky note. And so, these are my ellipses from the other day with the, um, yeah, these are the ellipses I did the other day. 
so I got, I actually numbered the pages, didn't I? No, I only numbered one page. Well, I'm gonna fix that real quick. All right, and I'm just, because I feel like I'm gonna start with the first page I did and then I'll finish with the second page I did. But that's not. I numbered that one to make it look like I knew what I was doing when there was a big gap in the corner. <laughs> but I have been numbering them fairly consistently in as far as anything that has more than one page. So I made a bunch of crazy ellipses. Or not ellipses, I made a bunch of crazy planes. Because I didn't know I'd be doing this. I didn't know I'd have to come back to this. I thought I was done with this. I thought I could burn it in the fires of Mount Doom or something. But no, it came back. Like the cat in that rhyme about the cat that came back. So I got very accusatory last night when I was reading through this and realized I would need these again. Yep. There was, there was some accusations. I said some words. I don't regret them. You're a monster. Ugh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to make an ellipse that touches all the sides and is pretty good looking. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'm just going to go from left to right because otherwise I'll psych myself out. Okay, let me drink some more water real quick. So we'll just start left to right. This one looks easy, so we're just going to tackle this one. Okay, lock my elbow back in. All right, let's just do it. Let's just, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. All of these are gonna be some crazy shapes, so we're just gonna keep going. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting caught in a weird stroke and I'm trying to reset my brain, but I guess I'll do that then. I'll just make some circles and keep going. Yeah. Also, sometimes I start moving my elbow and then I sort of lift my arm so I'm redoing that locking motion. But I'm going to keep going. rotate this paper a million times until I feel comfortable. Nope, that's not going to work. Hmm. 
These require so much more shoulder, so it's a lot more challenging. I can feel my arm objecting. We just keep going. That was actually all right. didn't catch the make the line that time. I think I'm holding it weird. Let me try this. I got a little out of control. Yeah, if I don't sort of hold it a little bit more up closer to 90 degrees, I just caught the edge of it and made a really bad mark. That was distracting. Trying to find that pace I had um, yesterday when I was doing the ellipses because I got pretty comfortable towards the end of there as far as making a steady mark goes. Hmm. So, I'm just going to keep trying. I'm not sure if that means I'm doing this well or not. Here I was thinking I'd make the ugliest homework you'd have ever seen, and then you'd have to actually touch it with your hands. Maybe later. We'll make some very ugly homework later on in the lessons. Since I haven't done anything really past half of the box challenge. Look at this crazy thing. Let's just do it. And try and do it well. That wasn't too horrible.
going to be trickier because these corners here sometimes like to throw me off. That's the first one. So, I think I did all right for the most part. They didn't go too crazy. But, yeah, a lot of times if you see me lifting my hand away or stopping in the middle, it's because I realize I'm doing something bad, like I'm suddenly using my elbow too much or the ghosting that I'm doing is really far off and I just will stop and start again to sort of get away from what I was doing. Because I do frequently fall back on using my elbow right away and so I have to stop and then lock my elbow and then start using my shoulder. So that's why I do that. So here's the second one. We'll put that away. And these are not any better or more reserved. It's still crazy. Let's do it. I might put a second date for the, when I did this, if that's useful. I don't know. Let me rotate my shoulder a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Did I even bother turning this back on? I didn't. Oh well. It's, I feel like it's going to be kind of short today. So, that's fine. And we're just going from left to right again, so I don't have to think too much about it. Three out of four isn't bad. <laughs> um, sometimes you just have to eliminate choice, because choice will paralyze you. I'm not very good at making a choice when given a lot of options. I tend to just sputter out and go, uh So, just start building walls in your brain. That's usually what I do. That was all. We're doing chicken and potato salad for dinner tonight because uh, it needs to get eaten. And I'll probably eat the rest of the spaghetti for lunch tomorrow unless you take some with you. I don't know if you even have a microwave at work or if that's a thing that you do. Sandwich boy forever. Ah. Uh, maybe we can. Well, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is. What, do you want me to like call you or do you want to just type it out all long type all long like I'll call you we can we can stop this and just have a sandwich time story I don't care it's my video
What about if tomorrow after work we go to that pizza place right next to us? That might be fun. Since it'll be the start of your weekend. And I kind of want to try some pizza. Or we could go to Pizza Street. <laughs> oh yeah, we can totally do that. I'll probably be done with these planes in a minute, but... I've only been at this for like 36 minutes and some of that was me goofing off so I might just do the next part and get through the ellipses. Did, it, did something happen to Pizza Street? Was there a war? Should I be concerned for Pizza Street and the people they're making friends with? I love bougie bread. I love bread. I just shouldn't eat it too much. What in the world is this? I totally forgot to make a lot one of the lines when I did this. Oh, I should probably do that. Yeah, because I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna fix that and then we'll put an ellipse in it. Oh man. How come nobody said anything? You just let me do that? Okay, now let's, now let's put an ellipse in it now that it's done. Oh man. What am I even doing with my life? Can't even follow some basic written instructions. Maybe it's because those written instructions take 40 minutes to read. I don't know. Ooh, that one was pretty good. That kind of got weird at the end, but that's all right. I have to sort of practice going up when I finish doing a line instead of going like, yeah. That's usually where those ugly tails come from. See, that's a little better. <laughs> I can smell pizza right now. That's what the problem is. No, oh, they're getting crazy towards the end here. Just a few left. This is a big old chonker. Nah. They just keep going.
My trouble is always when I get to the corners of the paper, my hand sits just a little bit on it and I always worry that I'm going to just peel it towards me because the hover hand is really difficult to do. So I'm just sort of like gently resting a little bit of my pinky on here and I think that's going to work. Just sort of, because now I have like three things to think about instead of just two, but here we go. wasn't too bad. So that was both pages all done. Yay me.